to math is fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about proving that triangles are similar. All right, so um, we defined similar triangles in the last couple of videos. If you want to refer to those, that might be helpful. But let's just dive right in here. The first similarity theorem we have for two triangles is called the side-side-side theorem, or SSS with a squiggly for similarity. Be really careful because we learned a while ago that we have a side-side-side congruence theorem for proving that triangles are congruent. And there is a difference. So we want to make sure we're saying that they're different by using a different symbol. So side, 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 and then the similar symbol. All right, so that says if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are proportional. So what that looks like is if I can show that FH over its corresponding side, which is JL, is the same as FG over its corresponding side, JK, which is the same as HG over KL. So if all three sets of sides are similar or they have uh, the same ratios, then I can say that triangle FHG is similar to triangle JLK. And make sure your similarity statement is in the right order. All right, the next one, we have side angle side similarity, or SAS with the squiggle. <laughs> All right, that says if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another and the included angle is congruent uh, for both triangles, then we have similar triangles. So what would need to be true is whichever angle we have that's congruent, let's just say we had Q and Y. So if angle Q is congruent to angle Y, and we knew that the two sides on either side of that angle, PQ and QR, are proportional to the corresponding sides of the other triangle. So if PQ over XY was equal to QR over YZ, then I could say that triangle PQR was similar to triangle XYZ. So those are the two things that need to be true in order to use this theorem. All right, and then the last one we have is the angle-angle similarity. Now this one is really nice. It says that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of the other, the triangles are automatically similar. It's really nice. We don't even have to show anything about the sides or the other angle. All we need are two congruent angles. So if I have the given information or somehow can find the information that two angles are congruent. So if angle P was congruent to angle X and angle Q is congruent to angle Y, then I can simply skip to my similarity statement. Triangle PQR is similar to triangle XYZ. That one's the short and sweet one. I love it. All right, so now we are going to do a couple examples. We're going to determine whether each pair of triangles is similar and then state the theorem or postulate that gives us our answer. So if we look at A, we have two 90 degree angles and two 25 degree angles, which means, yes, they are similar by angle angle similarity. We don't have to do anything else. If I have two congruent angles, I'm done. All right, now let's look at B. We have one set of congruent angles but that's it. We don't have any other information. And we definitely need more than just one set of congruent angles. So not enough info. All right. And then our last one here, we don't have any information about the angles, which means we want to concentrate on our side, side, side theorem. And again, like I talked about in my last video, let's look at the sizes of the sides. So here I have my small, medium, and large. And then here I have small, medium, and large. This helps you pair them together correctly. And always keep the same triangle on the top and the other triangle on the bottom. All right, so we've got, let's see, 12 over 36, which reduces to one third. We have 15, our medium sides, over 45, ooh, which reduces to one third. This is looking good. 
All right, and then our large, we have 25 over 75, which also reduces to one third. So since all the ratios of the corresponding sides have the same ratio, so they simplify to the same number, the scale factor is one third, then these are similar by side, side, side similarity. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.